Again, um, we have kind of uh, come to the end of the uh, TUC meeting, and it's up to me to speak some uh, final final words. So, it is an important point, of course, for uh, the LWC as an organization and the LWC as a project, if alone for the fact that the EU project that so far has funded and steered many much of our activity uh, is coming to an end. So, um, but as I explained in my uh, opening talk, it is definitely not the end of uh, LDBC. Yet, um, I can I will shortly give some thoughts about uh, how I think things have gone so far. And um, uh, generally speaking, I am happy. There are things that can be improved and that we should really work on. Um, but I think certainly from the formal perspective of the Euro European Commi uh, Commission we should be fine. In fact, they have already uh, approved all our deliverables, so technically speaking uh, we should be safe. Um, yet we still actually meet them, meet the bureaucrats uh, in April uh, in Luxembourg so, and, and the reviewers. So we'll hear their comments certainly. Um, I think as a scientist uh, LBC has been interesting. Uh, it has provided definitely uh, new research results. So, so, so certainly in the area of, of benchmark development, database benchmark development, we have contributed this notion of choke point based uh, um, design of benchmarks. And this was like a term that we used already in our proposal when we wrote the EU project proposal, but then it was not very concrete. But during the development of both the SMB and the SPB benchmarks, we have made this very concrete and actually have profited from it, I think, in uh, making the, the benchmarks balanced and really cover a broad spectrum of technical challenges. So that is good. And uh, there are also individual uh, innovations, like uh, I think really that the data generator of the SNB, so the social network benchmark, is the state of the art in terms of uh, generating complexly shaped uh, social networks. Uh, I'm kind of proud of that. And we also published, of course, uh, papers. So uh, we have often, in every TPCTC, which is a benchmarking mini conference, we have been there, but we have also now published a SIGMOD uh, paper and two dub dub papers. So it's uh, that's quite good. And certainly, I mean, I already mentioned, uh, in terms of TPC, um, well, you could, we have been very fast. I mean, TPC takes five years at least to develop a benchmark. And uh, we have uh, four of them in two and a half years. Um, of course, you are also part of uh, our success. So the the technical user community has been a very valuable uh, for uh, providing ideas and feedback. Um, I made some small statistics on what we what we have done in these six meetings. So there have been LWC presentations in which we have told you, like now, about progress, uh, and also like uh, like Venko and Arnaud did uh, detailed. Uh, a research where we have shared detailed results, results of what LDBC had been doing, asking for feedback. So that has been a constant uh, presence in these agendas, but very importantly we have heard 36 detailed user scenarios. And I have really been picky here. Um, so these are presentations of people who have been using graph uh, or RDF uh, technologies in, in real life cases. And this is actually a quite comprehensive uh, collection of such knowledge that we should exploit. So I mentioned that Elsevier asked us to uh, to write a book, and I certainly think that um, we should distill from these 36 user stories um, uh, the essential uh, characteristics. In fact, it's kind of a mini marketing study of. Uh, of what is going on both in the RDF and the graph uh, uh, markets and uh, what are important features. So it's definitely very interesting for, for vendors to read uh, about this, I think, as well. And as well as for academia, uh, so it, uh, because in academia it is actually very relevant how technology is being used and what users are asking for. So I think we should not just let those uh, presentations, those 36 user presentations, uh, 
uh, be there as PowerPoint or PDF slides, uh, we should actually go back at them and uh, distill knowledge from them. So it may be, and I can prepare you, that you might at some point find in your email some requests for additional questions because that will, that will come from it. We will probably go back at our original presenters and ask some follow-up questions. Um, but that's definitely in the works. Uh, honorable mentions in this category, by the way, are for Jeff and Andreas. They have been here twice. Uh, really, uh, both, in both cases, very interesting presentations. Um, the other TUC also hosted, of course, academic presentations, uh, certainly well, highlighting research problems or proposing, for instance, new uh, benchmarking directions. That's also been very valuable. And we have had representation of all these companies, 15 different, well, not only companies, but at least groups representing systems, uh, mostly companies, that have been here and have expressed interest in the LDBC. And certainly, they have been an important part of uh, growing the LDBC. So, uh, for me today, it was again very rewarding to see LDBC grow. Uh, I'm, uh, I would specifically want to mention uh, the TU Delft uh, uh, Corporation, which has shaped up over the, over the past year. LDBC started out uh, being weak in the department of uh, graph programming languages, which is an important area in, in graph data management. And, uh, we are very pleased to see uh, uh, Alexandru's uh, group participating here and uh, working together now on what we call the uh, uh, graph analytics part of the social network benchmark. So this is great. And I'm also very happy, for instance, to see today Mark Logic here and uh, Computer Associates. So the LWC vendor community potentially uh, broadening. Um, um, yeah, so, um, but we don't think we are ready in that sense. Uh, certainly, we have been talking, for instance, to the social network companies. Uh, of course, social network companies are certainly the very big ones, which I've noted here, like Google, Facebook, and LinkedIn. They have, they are not necessarily customers of, let's say, graph database companies. They have often very large scale internal systems, yet, uh, for our particular use case of social network data, they can provide important uh, uh, valuable input and feedback so that's why we are talking to them um, and they are interested they we, they, we, they are not yet uh, industry members it might happen but uh, and certainly we hope so okay so this this slide was already there this is where I think that we could do better uh, so this is about getting the word on LWC out. So we have been doing interesting work, I think, but it is very important that we tell as many people as possible about it, certainly in the phase that we are now going to go into with published benchmark results. It's now, there is, it's now really time to share this with as many people as possible and to make sure that um, LWC becomes a household name, at least among database uh, data architects. Um, so the place to go to, to look for information on, on the new graph data management. So it's again a call to all of you to think of ways um, uh, of telling about the LDBC and also a call to all of you if, when you do so to involve the dissemination team, um, so the Maris, uh, in, in these efforts so she can kick back and uh, there are actually dissemination managers uh, um, that also will help in, in posting um, uh, uh, social, social network uh, uh, messages. Okay, so uh, my last uh, slide. So, what what does the, the the future hold? It will be an interesting year. So, we will have to stand on our own legs uh, without uh, easy money. Um, I, I'm hopeful. I think we have a good set of uh, of members that care about LDBC. So, it should it should really work out. Uh, there will be a new TUC meeting. We have heard about this uh, today. We'll decide on the exact date. Uh, but it will be at TJ Watson IBM and we are thrilled to be there. Um, there is lots of talk about potential new directions. One of the things I would like to share with you is the idea of maybe organizing a larger conference. There is a lot of interest in graph data management, not only in data management and database systems, but also in uh, supercomputing and also in distributed systems. So if you look at the amount of papers and academic research that is graph-oriented in all these three communities, it is very significant. So it would be great to 
get those different communities together in a single venue that uh, concentrates on graphs. So, um, well, this is an idea, but it's, it could be that we, um, as LDBC, take an initiative in this direction. And of course, in the LDBC, we will continue to uh, fulfill the mission of, of benchmarking, developing benchmarks, developing benchmarking standards, and uh, we may take, uh, well, new directions. So we have heard this TUC, but also a few TUCs back, a few talks already about temporal aspects in graphs, so mo graphs that are continuously moving and where the queries are actually about well, by temporal, so what's changing or, or uh, a series, and this is this appears to be something that uh, that is Im that is important. Um, but this is just one example. There are some other examples uh, in this list. So once again, I mean the LDBC would not be what it is without the technical user community. So thank thank you all for being here and for participating. And um, uh, well, see you maybe. Uh, uh, in fall, in November, uh, in New Jersey. Thanks. And thanks. Thanks, Larry and his team for guiding the LDBC uh, as coordinator of the project and for organizing this particular meeting as well. Well, in particular, I would like to thank Damaris and Ricard because they've been doing a very good job here and everything has been smooth. Thanks to them. So thank you. Um, I just want to say a few um, closing words. Yes. <laughs> so I just want to, to say a few words. I think that the, the team has worked very well. Um, I think that the achievements are really significant because of the cohesion of the different members of the, the team. Uh, and this is proven actually by the fact that uh, LDBC, as promised to DEC, is continuing. Uh, and this is going to make uh, uh, certainly a very strong uh, continuation because we have very uh, engaged companies like uh, Oracle, IBM, uh, and other maybe minor companies, but, but uh, a significant uh, for the LDBC consortium. We, as Peter said, I think that it is important that we all spread the word, that we all use um, everything that has been produced during the, the project because it is out there, it's open source, it, it can be used by anybody in the community and by doing that we can make sure that more and more people are engaged uh, and more and more people recognize LDBC as an important achievement, not only for graph and RDF benchmarking, but in general for benchmarking, because I think that the contributions uh, of the project are significant in general, not just for the specific topics of graph uh, and RDF um, uh, areas, right? And I finally want to thank uh, Peter, because he's been a very a uh, good uh, scientific coordinator of this project. Um, uh, he's been doing a great job and I just want to thank you uh, for everything towards making this really a success uh, as a project and as a continuation for it uh, with the LDBC Council. Thank you, Peter. So it's time now for lunch. Uh,